Hello, hello, hello. Hello, Raf. Hello, Jose. Hello, Diana. Can you guys hear me okay? Hello, teacher. How you doing? How you doing, Gonzalo? How's everything? Good evening. Good evening. How's your day going? Happy, happy Thursday, right? Friday. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. Happy Friday. For us, at least, right? Yeah. Week two, day number four. There it is. Hello, Alexander. Hello, hello. Welcome. Good evening, T-shirt. Good evening. Ricardo, hello, welcome. Welcome, welcome, everybody. Good evening. How has it been with the platform? How are you guys doing with the platform? In some tasks, I have a problem. Okay. To answer, but um, I never find the right answer. Okay. Remember that if if you guys were in sections one, I believe it was 1.3, 1 1.5, and 1.8, it gives you errors. Right, right. Um, I think we can look at some of those kind of like a little review real quick because i think that's what it was i think it was 1.3 1 1.5 and 1.8 i put it in the in the whatsapp let me check real quick i remember we put them uh let me see going back a little bit problems so 1.2, 1 1.5, and 1.8. So let me go ahead and fix that. 1.2, 1 1.5, and 1.8. All of these gave you problems. And these were the writing exercises. Um, I believe there was a mistake. Uh, not all of them were wrong, but it was just one. Uh, so, for example, you had five questions, and out of the five questions, there was one that even though you were inputting it correctly, the system would tell you that it was wrong. And so, um, I think we did an exercise where we went through them, and we did a, uh, we, we, we actually checked what the correct answers were. So, we could do something like that. Um, 
I wanted to focus on models in general, you know, because that's what I've seen in 2.0. So uh, they started off with models with obligations, the phrasal models. Uh, then they got into, uh, you know, the verbs. But I think that one is that one was referring to how to use it when uh, you had problems, for example, right? That was one of them. And then as you continue on section two, uh, you eventually come into like a whole different uh, array of models and how to use them. Uh, they tell you how to use them in terms of ob obligation. Uh, they tell you how to use them uh, for, for example, uh, if you guys are giving advice. And so um, I think that we have some worksheets that can work out because there is a few that focus pretty much in models in general, you know, like the most common models that we use and how do we use and how to use them. So I think we can go through live uh, worksheets and kind of work them out right there. Okay. Uh, let me see. Hi, Lisette. Hi, Jarvin. Welcome. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, everyone. Hello. Hello. Good evening. How are you? Pretty good, pretty good. Um, and any of you from Santa Ana? Is anybody here from Santa Ana? I wanted to ask you guys about that big fire. If you are from Santa Ana, if you're not from Santa Ana, did you guys see that fire on the news? Yeah, I was seeing the news today. Okay. It was so big. It was really, I mean, um, usually when we think about, you know, when we think about a mercado, right, we we usually have the tendency to think, oh, it's, it's like a little place outside in the streets. But they say that the mercado in Santa Ana, it was, it's really big. So it, all, it caught fire and then everything just kind of, you know, went up and got fried, man. So I feel I was really... Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Was question, I was questioning myself. There is in El Salvador because it, the city looks so so, so huge. Yeah, from from El de Santa Ana. Yes. Yeah, I mean it's it's it looks so big. It's the very city. it's very big. Now it's not. How can I say this? I you know I don't want to offend anybody, right? Uh, everybody gets offended real quick. I don't want to offend anybody. So uh, the thing is that it's very colonial. I don't know if that's what, I don't know if we can, yeah, I think I think we could, we can use that, right? It's, so the houses are really big and they're really like from the Spanish era. And so whenever you go into a colonia in Santa Ana, uh, there's not too many houses because the houses are pretty large. And then it just, you know, is it, just really, really wide, I, I think. It feels that way. Um, so when you go from the colonias in Santa Ana and you go to the Mercado, there's a big change because everything kind of gets small, you know? And then you start to kind of see, like, you know, instead of seeing the big houses, now you see, like, these little spaces. And it was, the Mercado was pretty large, Man, that fire was was really raging on. Eh, no lo pudieron parar. They just what they did is they just let it burn, and then eventually, you know, it couldn't cross the street, so it stopped burning, and that was it. So the firemen, good evening, good evening, Delmi. So the firemen just kind of said, you know what, forget it. We're not gonna fight it. We're just gonna let it burn. But they did take precautionary measures around the mercado, right? So around the market, they did, uh, they were able to kind of put some water on and to kind of prevent it from jumping over. But everything burned, man. I feel really bad for the people that had places there. Um, I have friends that, you know, that work in the market and and everything they have is, is pretty much, you know, it's, um, los puestecitos que tienen, they, you know, that's that's how they live. Oh, it was. Es que, es que fíjate que también como agarran la electricidad, it, it's weird in some places. 
solo pelan el cable, amarran el otro cable, and then that's it. So it could be that. Wow. All right. All right. Hello, Josue. Welcome, welcome. Delmi, hello. Welcome aboard. Happy Friday, everybody. Uh, good evening, we, teacher. Good, good evening, good evening. We were going to start. Actually, we still are going to start. Uh, let's review our platform right quick. Uh, we had some errors. Remember, we had errors. Let's go back all the way up to section number one. And I believe we had errors in section 1.2, 1.5, and 1.8. So let, let me go back. This is section number 1.2. And I'm over here talking about the platform and I didn't even share it. Oh my goodness. Sorry, guys. Let me go ahead and share it your way. Ahí está. Are you guys able to see my platform? Yes. Thank you for that, Lisette. Thank you very much. All right. Let me go ahead and try to fix this here. And there is, okay, there it is. All right. So 1.2, guys. Uh, let me go ahead. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take a little screenshot and I'm going to put it on the WhatsApp as well. Uh, let me see here. Where are we? Uh, another thing that we can do this week today is we can go over the midterm. Has any of you gotten to the midterm? Have you guys reviewed it? Have you guys read it? Have you guys completed it? I'll take that silence. That's either a yes. Ah, oh, there you go. Delmi, yeah. Delmi already did it. Okay. So this one is 1.2, and I, I sent it on the WhatsApp. And with this one, there was something wrong with it that didn't allow for us to 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 fix it. I think it was this one here. Uh, exercise number three. Oh, I think they might have fixed it because it was visiting her parents. And then here it said off, off the weekend. Do you guys remember that? Off the weekend. And so even though you would put it correct, it would still give you a wrong answer. And so I believe it was number three. Visiting parents on the weekend was wrong when you guys were trying to put it down here. But as you guys can see now, it is showing up as correct. Visiting her parents on the weekend. That was the correct answer. Okay. And then the next one was, all right, good for you, good for you. Well done, Raf. well done, Delmi. The next one that we talked about was one point, let me see here, what we said, 1.5? 1.5 so it's for 1.5 here here with this one number one when you guys were reading the exercise i'm sorry when you guys were listening to the exercise what would happen was that in the exercise it says heather but when you try to put the answer, it wouldn't accept it as correct because it only accepted Marcos. So in order to get it right, you're supposed to put Heather on here. Even though in the recording, it says it's Marcos, okay? So ojo con eso. That's 1.5. Let's take a jump into 1.8. 1 1.8. 1 
And this one had to do with rewriting the sentences. Rewriting the sentences. So let me go ahead and do this one so that we can see it. I'll put it in a little, I'll put it in one of these. So we'll go here. Oh, I don't think there's going to be enough room. Let's try it. I think number four was the one that gave the biggest problem. And it didn't accept a certain portion. So in order for you guys to get them, this is the way they look. And so the first one says, I'm the youngest in the family. The nice thing is I get a lot of attention. And then so the correct phrase would be the nice thing about being the youngest in the family is that I get a lot of attention. So let me go ahead and put this one on as well. And so what happens with one, I think one of these was, it, it still didn't accept it. So it didn't matter how you wrote it, it would still give you a wrong answer. So they're in order, right? Number one, two, three, four, and five. Five being, I'm the oldest in the family. One bad thing is that I always have to babysit. One bad thing about being the oldest in the family is I always have to babysit. So yeah, so these are it. So these are so these are going to be on the what's up. I think they're already there. And the sections were 1.2, 1.5, and 1.8. Those were, those were the ones that were giving the most problems. Okay. All right. So let me go ahead and go back to the platform. And what we're going to do is we're going to go and move a little bit ahead from the exercises and go into section 2.0. I think we're gonna skip right 2.0 and we're gonna go all the way. We were actually pretty advanced I, you know, here. We're in 2.8 and you see how it was verbs to express degree of certainty and those we can also cover later on. This is the one that I was telling you, models with multiple uses, right? So instead of kind of focusing on, on the module itself, um, maybe review all models, right? From the very beginning, from the very basics, and then kind of take it from there. All right, and then from there, you get the video for the verbs to believe, the listening exercise, the reading exercise, and we get to the midterm. Midterm, I believe, is also uh, partitioned into letters. So you have A, B, C. Let me see. A, B, C, and D. We'll check it out and see if we get some more. OK? And so for the midterm, what we do, what, you know, what Inglés Corporativo does is they take everything that you have seen in section one and section two, 
and then they bring it up in, in knowledge checks. And they make one big exam using different knowledge checks from the different sections. And in section A, you start off with listening. So you listen to a conversation and then you check whether it's true or false, okay? And you have a couple of conversations here. So you have two and you have a total of nine questions. We're gonna come back and we're gonna try to do maybe one of these, one of these sections and kind of go through it. Okay, once you complete both of the sections, you click on next, and then you go to the next one, which is B, and then the sections, right? Instructions, type the verb that best completes each sentence, uh, use infinitive or gerunds, do not need to use capital letters or periods, so it's just uh, the verb. You type in the verb, and you see that there's two parts to it, 12 questions in total, and then you click next and you go to C. Type the words, read the following sentence, choose the following verbs to complete the sentences, and you can use aggravate, cause, deal with, identify, ignore, run into. And these are the types of verbs, right? And then you type it in, once you complete the exercises, two parts, 12 questions, and you click on next. So the sections have gotten a little bit longer, right? The modules have gotten shorter, and I believe that's why the questions are a little bit, well, the tests are a little bit longer. There's only four modules when we usually have five. We still have one midterm and one final exam. D has to do with reading. Read the sentence, choose the following words that best describes each person, then type in lowercase. Periods are not needed. Type it in, you get the two parts. Oh my goodness, this one has three parts. So I am assuming that that's 15 questions. Is it 15? Well, 14, okay. And then click next and let's see if we have anything else. I think that's it, it sends us to section 3.0, all right? All right, so for the people that completed the midterm, did you guys get 100%? Was it 100% on the exam? Yes, 100%? Or no, 100%? <laughs> no, no, Rev? All right. Okay. Once you complete section one and section two and the midterm, you guys can go up into the progress, like the report card. Okay. All right, Rev. And then here you can see how much you have done out of section one, section two and then it tells you the midterm. As you guys can see, I haven't completed section two and I have not even started the midterm exam. So let's go back to the course and this is how you can check. All right, so going back to section A, I think we can do this one pretty quick. Let me, I don't remember if I shared with sounds. Yeah, I did, okay. Let me go ahead and share one more time. And let me go ahead and play it for you guys and then you help me answer, okay? And then we'll do these together. So let's go. Listen to a conversation between two friends. Can you guys hear the recording okay? Yes. Yes, okay, nice. Okay, let me go ahead. Like that, I like that. All right, let's go ahead and put it again. Listen to a conversation between two friends, Ryan and Megan, then check true or false. Hi, Megan. Hey, Ryan. Were you at that huge party last weekend? 
You mean the one that took up the whole city block? Yeah, I can't believe how many people were there. I know. I didn't want to go, but my friend Doug dragged me along. I didn't see you there. I had a great time, and we met a really cool girl there. My sister and I went to the Natural History Museum with her on Wednesday. What's she like? Well, her name's Carla, and I thought she was pretty shy and reserved at first. But she's not? Nope. Once I started talking to her, I realized she wasn't shy at all, just calm and cool. It just goes to show you that people aren't always what they seem like at first. No kidding. Oh, and Carla and I discovered we have a lot of friends in common. Really? I'm surprised you haven't met before. Yeah, me too. So what does she do? She works at home. She runs a business out of her living room. Doing what? She teaches middle school and high school kids how to save money for college. Carla sounds like a strong and independent woman. Yeah, she definitely is. Cool. Hey, we're going for lunch tomorrow afternoon. Do you want to come? Sure. I'd love to meet her. Great. Meet us at that Thai restaurant. You know, the... I think that's it. All right, here you go, guys. Help me answer these. Ryan wanted to go to the party. Was that a true or false statement? Statement. False. 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 Okay. Megan met a shy girl at the party. Yes. False. 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 Carla knows a lot of people that Megan friends. Hold up. Carla knows a lot of people that Megan's friend knows. True. 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 Okay. Carla works in an office. False. 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 Okay. Where does Carla work? At home. At home. All right. Ryan will join his friend and Carla for lunch. True. True. Yeah. All right. Okay. Let's go for part two. Part two. Passages, third edition, level one, unit two quiz. Part A. Listen to a conversation between two classmates, Mike and Anna. Then check the correct answers. Anna, what did you think of the English final? I don't know, Mike. I thought it was pretty hard. Yeah, I thought so too. But I feel pretty good about it. Hey, do you know what happened to Kelly? She didn't show up for the exam. I don't know, but we were supposed to meet right after class to talk about our final project. Do you think she's sick? Hmm. I just talked to her last night and she seemed okay. I doubt she got sick so quickly. Well, I should have said something to Professor Atkins. I wonder if she noticed that Kelly wasn't there. Probably not. There are 55 people in our class. But Kelly never misses class. Do you think Professor Atkins will let her take a makeup exam? Yeah, she let me take a makeup exam once. I suspect she'll do the same for Kelly. I hope so. Let's call Kelly now and see if she's okay. All right, all right, here we go. Mike had plans to meet Kelly when? After class. After class. After class? After class. After class, okay. Anna thinks Kelly got sick or doesn't think Kelly got sick? Doesn't. 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 Okay. Anna thinks Professor Atkins knew Kelly missed the exam or didn't know many kids? <laughs> didn't know Kelly missed the exam. Didn't know. Didn't, okay. Professor Atkins usually allows makeup tests or doesn't allow makeup tests? Allows. 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 All right, let's go ahead and click submit. Oh, let's see. El teacher, ¿cuánto sacó? Uh, tom, tom. That looks, that looks yeah. legit. All right, let me go ahead. Megan, Megan, try to work on the party. Megan, Mr. Megan. A ver, hold on. Let me make it a little bit smaller. Take a quick little picture. No, that's too small, right? No, I'm not going to be able to take a picture of it. Oh, man. It's two parts. Well, we can do we can do one in two parts, right? 
And yes. we can say that it's a review. Let me see. Oh. Let's see. You know what? I'll take, I, I'll send it. I'll take it and then I'll send it as a kind of like a review. All right. I won't send it like before. Okay. So that's section A. Let me see. Uh, there was another section on here. Uh, choose the words. Yeah, I think. I think we can do this one as well. Uh, would you guys like to, let me see, let me, let me show you guys. And I think we can do two as a class, right? Um, section B is about choosing words. Section C is about typing the words. And then section D is reading and then answering or choosing. Which one would you guys like to do? as a class reading. reading reading the readings okay so let me go ahead i so reading is the last one right d yeah let me go ahead and make this one a little bit larger again okay maybe too big all right so section d is reading and then there's the instructions. Read the sentence, choose from the following words that best describe each person, and then type them in. And so these are the words, friendly and outgoing, strong and independent, neat and tidy, or wild and crazy. Let's go through the first portion. Judy loves going to clubs and staying out late. She is wild and crazy. Wild and crazy. Hey, I like to go out and party, but I'm not wild and crazy. And Laura Case, the head on So Laura Case. Okay. Number two. Tom always introduces himself to new students and invites them to, for coffee. He is friendly and outgoing. Friendly, friendly and outgoing. Okay. Mia puts her clothes and books away every night before before bed. She is neat and tidy. Neat and tidy all right number four Alice is never afraid to make decisions without asking others what they think she is She's strong and independent strong and independent all right and did we put something extra on here independent what it's saying we have it wrong maybe i added something that's weird hmm. could it be that we misspelled it independent that's weird that was weird all right let's go to part two guys read the blog then choose the words that best complete the sentences so let's bring that up oh two all right there you go all right guys Take a minute or two to read through the blog.
All right. Let's see what they got for us. Okay. Thanksgiving dinner was at Jessica's blank house. Great Aunt Susie's. Great Aunt Aunt Susie's. There we go, right? My great aunt. Great, great Aunt Susie's, okay. Blank did the cooking. Everyone. Everyone, Everyone did the cooking, okay. Jessica's brother-in-law made. Apple, apple cranberry pie. Apple cranberry pie. Now I've tried, I've tried apple pie and I've tried cranberry pie. Never apple cranberry pie. Hopefully it's good. Jessica blank the new recipe she tried. Didn't like. She didn't like. Okay. And then the broccoli made everyone everyone Love. laugh. Thick. Love. Thick. 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 No, they make a yoda about it, but they love. What does it say? Let me see. Let me see. Let's go back to the story. Um, At the end. Yeah, uh -huh. they got medicine, I guess. Can I? Well, anyways, does it say that? Yes. At the end? No, it is the other one. Sorry. They have a bottle of stomach medicine. It was a joke. I understand that. They stomach, uh -huh, they stomach medicine. But the pride will, will win a prize, it said, because an, an uncle or something like that said say it. <laughs> Sick. <laughs> I knew it was awful. You know, it, oh my goodness. So let's try, you know, it sounds like the bottle of medicine did make you sick. That's what it sounds like. But everybody was also having a great time. Yeah. It's so, it is loud. There's laugh. All right, let's, yeah. let's, let's put the laughing. Let's put the laugh. All right. And then there's a part three. This one, this one's the one that had 14. So... Let me go ahead and make part three bigger. Here you go. All right. Oh man, this one sucks. Sorry about that. I did you guys complete the reading? Almost. Almost. Yeah. Sorry about that. I made it small.
This one is more like a like a letter, like an apology letter. Well, an apology, yeah, it's an apology email. Oh man, this this guy messed up. Akimi. You guys sent? Yes. All right. Let me go ahead and get out of this one. So, like, what would you guys do if somebody did that to you? Let's have a quick conversation about because this one is, this one is, you know, it's just a little bit shocking. <laughs> Like, what would you guys do if you were I, Helen? What would you tell Akimi, Akemi? Would you talk to Akimi again? Would you trust them again? I would be upset with her or he, I don't know what it is, but I guess with the passage of the time, I will forget and then I will uh, start to going out with, with all of them. But I don't know, at the beginning, I will. I will be angry with them. Okay. Right. So, yeah, man. Well, that, you know, because why would you assume, right? If you see me, like, if you see me standing there, why would you assume, right? Why not come up to me and ask me, you know, hey, are you already set? I think that that's, that's, that's my problem with it because that's what I would do. So let's say, Let's say we were in class, guys, and let's say that you guys, you know, we, we ride the same way and we're doing carpooling. And then one day, instead of you coming to my car, you just stay there and you don't move. And so I say, you know what, maybe he has a ride with somebody else and I leave. And then you have to take the bus home. Like, what would you tell me the next day? You know that that's that's what I kind of think about. Especially if we're friends, right? I, I would go up to you and say, "Hey, man, what happened? You left me yesterday." That's you know that's that's the way I look at it. I think it would be more on a that's my personal opinion, right? That's what I would do. All right, so let's get let's go. Akimi was at the party. True or false? False. False. Okay. Mindy went to the party after the exam. Is that true or false? True. True. Okay. Helen's cell phone battery died. False. False. Okay. Mario turned off his cell phone before the party. False. False. Okay. Helen didn't call to make sure Kimi had arrived. True. 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 All right. Well, let's see, let's see, ladies and gentlemen, let's see what we got. Oh, it looks good so far. Whoa, whoa, what happened here? Akimi was at the party? So it's true. Mindy went to the party after the exam. False. All right, so let's check on that one. False. Let's see, let's see. There it is. All right, so let's let's review. Here we are. So we have section D. One, two, three, four, 
and we have wild and crazy. What do you guys understand by wild and crazy? Um, <clears throat> besides Someone what it is. Yeah. Outgoing, yeah, outgoing. A okay. little bit crazy. All right. Yeah, you know, I, I think for us too, right? If somebody goes out partying every night, we usually get the idea that they're wild and that they're crazy. However, you know, we would have, I think we would have to be at that party to, be, to make that assumption, right? Um, let's go to the party. Let's see if they really get wild and crazy. And then based on that, we can say, yeah, yeah, you know, he's wild and crazy, right? All right, uh, friendly and outgoing. So the next one is friendly and outgoing, neat and tidy and strong and independent. How many of you guys would categorize yourself as wild and crazy? Wild and crazy. Or maybe was. Right? We're going to use past tense for this one. How many of you guys are or were? Wild and crazy. All right. How many of you guys categorize yourself as friendly and outgoing? That one is still me, right? There we go, Delmi. Yeah, friendly and outgoing, right? I'm, I'm always saying hello. It doesn't matter where. I'm always trying to talk to people. Friendly and outgoing. A todas mis clases les compro cake y café. Right, right, Jose? Rafael, like if we were in class, you know, I would do it. Okay. How many of you guys think of yourselves as neat and tidy? Yeah. So neat. Do you guys remember that song in Spanish? El nítido. El nítido. El nítido. <laughs> So yeah, that's 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 pretty much like when you say something is you know neat, está nítido, right? When you say something is tidy, it has to do with clean. It could be clean shaven. It could be always with a nice haircut. Always uh, with really nice clothes. You know, the fingernails are always nice and clean. So neat and tidy. Um, you know what I do? I consider myself to be neat and tidy because the beard is always nicely trimmed, right? Even though it's, you know, some people don't like the beards. So nicely trimmed beard, trimmed beard. That also helps out. Who here is strong and independent? Who falls under that category? Strong and independent. Not me, not me, I'm not, right? I always ask my grandma for help, remember? Grandma, should I do this? And then she's like, yeah, do it. And then I do it. If she says no, mm -mm, it's not happening. All right, Luis, all right. So I wanted to talk to you guys also now that we brought it up, right? The word category. Pronounced category. Category. Don't say category. Prohibido. Category. No, it is not category. It's a cat, right? Cat goes first. Category. 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 All right. Let's move down the list. I think everything else here. Great uncle, great aunt. Well, you guys know that, right? So your mom, she has a sister.
that is your auntie. Okay. Your mom. Her mom. That means grandma. Huh? Huh? Grandma has a sister. So I'm going to put G mom. No, me deja mira. G mama. Sister. That is your great aunt. Great aunt. Great auntie. So you could say it's my auntie, right? Some people say it like that. She's my aunt. She's my auntie. Or you can say she's my great auntie. And most people will say, oh, okay, so that's your grandma's sister. And that's why she's your great auntie. Okay. Uh, let me see. What else? Uh, cranberry arandano. Uh, I don't even, I think I spelled it like that. Arandano. Have you, have you guys ever had arandano juice or cranberry juice? Maybe, no. It's good for, no, uh, you guys, when you're having problems con, what is it, la vejiga, I think they call it? Or what is it that holds the water in your body? Cuando tenés... Riñones. Riñones. There, there we go. Yeah, riñones. Cuando tenés problemas con los riñones, you drink cranberry juice and the problems go away. But you have to drink it a lot. It has to be a lot. So now yes. it's very expensive. Very but, expensive. But it has a lot of vitamin C. That's correct. Yeah, Lisa. Yeah, you know, you know. Algún día, algún día no te voy a invitar a, 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 a un café de Starbucks, te voy a invitar a un vasito de cranberry juice. Uy, qué caro vas a decir. Uy, qué caro este teacher. <laughs> Thank you. All right. <laughs> uh, let me see what else. Uh, that's pretty much it. Yeah, that's, I think that was pretty much. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So for you guys, we were able to complete A and we were able to complete D. Uh, how come it's not giving it to me as a completion? Hold on. Well, it, it should be, right? You guys get to finish B and C on your own. If you guys have any questions, please let us know in the WhatsApp and we can help you out. We can help you out, right? Uh, let me see here. I think that's pretty much it. Uh, on Monday, let me go ahead and show you guys what I had for you. I had the live worksheets to complete section two. And it, 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 what the worksheets accomplished was a coverage of everything, uh, from, you know, the, I, I want to say from the basic models that we use, and then they get into a little bit more. Uh, into the past, they get a little bit more into um, obligations. And so hopefully we take the whole hour on doing the life exercises so that we can cover all of them. Um, I also had a, I had a little bit on the presentation for you guys, but I think we can cover that on Monday. Please don't forget to complete all your platform work. Platform work is 100% of your certification. So please make sure you guys are completing the modules. Please make sure you guys are completing the platform. All right. So uh, that's it for me today. Ladies and gentlemen, have a wonderful Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, long weekend, and I'll see you guys on Monday. Yep. Yeah. Thank you guys for coming in. Thank you guys for being in class. Have a wonderful night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, Good night everyone. Take care.